ALA. It's your fund coordinator, Chris Odom. Uh, I was going to make a little help video for you if you wanted to learn a little bit about iReady and the diagnostic results. So I'm just going to show you basically how to retrieve, retrieve that data. And right now I'm just in the iReady main screen. Again, remember this is mainly for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade teachers. Um, everyone else that's going to do this task will probably use their Illuminate data and a mix of information from class. Okay, so when I'm in the iReady home area here, the first thing you'll see are these five tabs, and we're going to go into the one that says diagnostic results. Okay, <clears throat> and then right below that, we're going to go just over to the side that says reading. Okay, what's nice about this is now that we've taken both diagnostic one and diagnostic two, you're going to have the ability to put in both. <clears throat> and so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to where it says diagnostic, and we're going to leave that as most recent. Essentially, it'll be diagnostic two. But the one that they took before that, you want to put in this box, says diagnostic one. Okay, and what we're going to do with this feature is draw a comparison between diagnostic one and diagnostic two. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this says diagnostic two. And there we go. Down below, you'll see it's reflected in both lines. Now, if you click on projected proficiency, over here on this corner, it's going to start calculating some information. And again, this is based on all schools. So you probably will have the view in your building that's specific to your campus. Uh, let me just choose a particular campus right now. I'm going to CMS, shout out to you guys. And there's going to be some student information further down here that I really should not display. Um, but so from here, we're going to be able to zoom in and see some of the stretch goals, the projections, um, and then the grade levels. And what I will show you here to start with is just on this grade level that I'm not going to because it's gonna go into the student data. If you click on this grade level, it will go specifically into class level, uh, meet, mentioning the teacher, and then even beyond that, it'll drill down into the specific students. Uh, one way you could use this to draw some conclusions is once you get to the student page, it's gonna give you a sense of the continuum of learning that starts earlier with uh, phonemic awareness and moves you know, into comprehension. It's gonna give you a sense of what areas the students are proficient and ready to you know, move out of and where we really need to have some more focus. And one of those major areas is in vocabulary as it leads toward the goals and comprehension. So your specific uh, mention of what you're gonna do in certain classes should be, I guess, tailored as closely as it can be to the actual scores um, and areas of focus that are needed in each specific class. Okay, so this has been how you can access, again, the projections um, but that are based on, now that you've had a diagnostic one and a diagnostic two, note that all I did was really selected diagnostic two and diagnostic one as the prior diagnostic and clicked this on this projected proficiency button. I hope that's been some help in getting you started looking your way into this data. Happy conclusion drawing and happy um, filling in any of the gaps that you've noticed. Thanks for listening.